Hello everybody, getting right back into this, we are going to arrange a dungeon in this. Last episode we, fent we spent basically fishing the whole thing. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work on some chamber dungeon stuff in here. And it depends if Dampe gets more challenges for us. If we go ahead, uh, voice cracking. Let's not use that entrance. Depending on if Dampe gives us more challenges, we will continue to build our way up. I need one of these doors that has a lock on it without a stairwell in it. And we'll do... Something like this. And then we do that. And then let's, since we love, I was gonna say, since we love the Shy Guy room so much, let's just do that. And then we need, we need a stairwell. That's the that one's already used. Put that here, and then we can go ahead. Do we have another key? Where do we want to put the nightmare, actually? Oh, we can use facade now. Cool. Let's put that there. And then... Is that too mean? Yeah, I think that's too mean. Let's just... And then we can do something like, let's put that here. I want a stairwell, but I don't want... Do we really need to put that in there? wish my dog could like stop moving as he is. Yeah, let's have a crossways here. We got some really interesting chambers now, don't we? And then we'll go ahead and put that. This and then I mean, might as well. Hmm. Let 
You know, we could be one of those people. The question is, do we want to be one of those people, though? I'm sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm really <laughs> focusing in on this. And then we'll go ahead and where is that? I mean, we still have to connect that. We could honestly just put this in as a trap, just cause, and then we need to walk through here. And another one. And then let's end off this dungeon with another trap. So we we technically don't have to visit all these dungeon locations, but yeah, that looks fine for, to me. All right. It kind of looks like a Zelda 1 dungeon, if I'm being honest. Kinda looks like a a weird like cranium dragon thing. Like a brain dragon or something. Hmm. Alright. So let's go ahead and play. What are you here for? Adventure. So let's play that. This dungeon's gonna take a bit, I can tell you that right now. All right. Actually, let's put that on Y because I'm so much more interested or like better at. Sword beams are OP in this game. All right, so up, up, let's go. We don't have a key. We need a key. <laughs> Double mini bosses. Okay. I might have to switch over to the blue tunic. Because the red one with the level 2 sword is ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm having a good time. I just, I feel at peace when I'm making these dungeons. I don't know what it is. It's just certain parts of this game really tick me off. 
and just that Rapids Ride minigame, that was one of the things that just irritated me so fiercely. That and then I keep forgetting the way these things bounce. I guess we didn't really need to like solve that puzzle, but I guess we could have. So there's a key. Up we go. All right. Watch, it's going to die in one hit. No. Still two hits, I guess. It got more red than usual. <laughs> Again, that's the this room and this room don't need to be visited, so let's just avoid them. More chests are always good. A small key, you can open a locked door. Cool. Let's blow up this wall instead. And this wall. Another key. Whoops, I <laughs> put this boss in here twice. Like, if you wanted to, you could literally put every single boss in here multiple times. I don't I don't find anything to be wrong with that. Must always have the big bug. Actually, where does this lead to? I mean, leads to another chest, so okay. Get him out of here. Another key, always good. All right, let's go over this way then. Now we. Oh, we gotta deal with the swamps now, huh? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, <laughs> I forgot Link could actually be squished in the game. <laughs> it doesn't one-hit kill him like in a, a Super Mario Galaxy, but that, that's just funny. Flat Link is flat. <laughs> Alright, so all the way over here we got another key, I'm assuming, through this. If it's not, then it's the Nightmare Key. I didn't mean to do that. But of course, because you cannot stop too easily, you gotta run right over the edge. Um, yeah. Of course, those guys have to be right in the way, don't they? I can't touch them with my sword, can I? Um...
and you're done. Good. So this room is a bit of an annoyance. Well, let's just go over. Do we need bombs? I mean, might as well. <laughs> Stuck in a block. You're over here, and you should be here. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's grab this, another key, and then we can go around all the way up here, and then we can go to that one room that we have not visited. All right, back through here. And yeah. I like the amount of face shrine rooms we're getting. The face shrine, like, as a general basis, probably is my favorite dungeon in this game specifically. The atmosphere is really on point. And it makes a lot of sense for where the game is when you get to that point. The dungeon ex itself is a pretty good experience, but I wasn't really... I wasn't really in a good uh, frame of mind going through there, just because of what happened with all the, the stupid raft minigame stuff. I always go too early when those things uh, drop down and are raising back up. Alright, almost there. I say as we're halfway across the dungeon. Up and over. I believe, yeah, we go through here, then we go up to the left. Yep. Get rid of these guys. They have a key. The next room. There's another trap, so we won't be going over there. It is difficult to be surprised at dungeons like this. Because you being the creator... It, just, it feels like you know everything when making these things. And it's just... Uh, it's eh, all around, I guess. Okay, 50 rupees, so we have one more chest to find. And that's right down in the next room. Get rid of that. Cheap cheeps. I almost feel bad for them, because they're like literally going back and forth. I don't think there's anything in this room. If there was, we, oh yeah, we probably would have uh, revealed the uh, the staircase. But either way, I appreciate that those statues like look forward when they're not watching you. There's the nightmare key. Now we can get done with this. Yep, one more key door. Now we have facade.
Okay, there we go. So that's that dungeon done. Let's see if Dampe gives us another uh, issue to deal with. Because if he does, what a show! There were times that's when you had one foot in the grave. Through like that, deserves something from my collection in exchange. What is this? You got a chamber slotted into the dungeon to see what's inside. <gasps> Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready, to, ready whenever you want it. What are you here for? Let's arrange, shall we? So, let's... Oh, heart shortage. Oh, restrictions? Three hearts? Once, once you filled the bottle with chambers, you just gotta get through the whole dungeon with just three hearts. Now, I'm not here to tell you how to arrange the, your dungeon, but you want to skimp on the monsters. Alright. So this is more of a challenge, and I appreciate that greatly. Let's... Let's do the hard-hit beetle. And let's do... I will gladly put that in. I love those Dodongo worms. Dodongo snakes, whatever they're called. So, we can do... Which way do we want to go? Yeah, we can go to the left. And then honestly filling this place with traps doesn't seem like too bad of an idea not probably the best case scenario Then we can solve this puzzle to get further. And then we can just load up the keys on the north part of this area. Now, I'll, I'll put a recovery area, just cause. Let's move that down then. And then we'll put a chest down there. And then where is this? We'll put the Dodongo snakes in. Hmm. Need another key door. We don't really have one. I 
Actually, is that how we want the dungeon to go? Like, honestly, I could probably deal with it. Uh, we need... No, we need a curve to this direction. And then we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so that looks fine. The best part about this one is that we can act, we actually have to be careful. But second best thing is that we can just play the instrument when we get the last chest. So we can go ahead and go back to the beginning of the dungeon to take on the boss. Alright, let's do this. What are you here for? Let's adventure. Yeah, dogs and their claws. All right, so we only have three hearts to deal with this dungeon, and we need to be careful. So we're going to have... We're going to have all of this... Wait for them to pass. We do stuff like this. We kind of have to, like, work with everything here. There we go. I don't know what it is, but I just, I like having the feather on the Y button much better. It's like, I, I prefer having button, uh, button use strictly on the Y button when there's an option for that as far as my main item use goes. That was almost bad. I took it. Where's the enemy to drop hearts? Push and a push. There we go. The game does not like this area for whatever reason. Like, I'm watching it on my screen and there was a bit of a dip in the FPS for a moment. Come on. It's really... It's an issue when they're, like, right next to each other. Come on. There we go. I was actually standing on the tile where the chest was going to spawn. That's cool. And funny. Alright. Another key obtained. Let's go up and to the uh, left. I almost said right. <laughs> Let's go up and to the left. Now we blow that up. Let's not get squished. Let's get rid of this guy because he's really annoying. Glad I got the boomerang. And we're good. Cool. Another key accounted for. Let's get out of here before we get squished. Alright. Let's head over this way.
It's a force of habit to remove everything breakable in a room for me. Well, it's starting to become a force of habit, but... <laughs> I really just don't need to be doing what I'm doing. There's a fairy there. I wouldn't have known if I didn't check. Um, oh yeah, we gotta go down. I like how the bomb just, like, inserts itself into their mouth. Alright, that should be two apiece. They're kind of moving in sync now, which is really it's interesting. Alright, one down. There we go. All right, so <laughs> we got a green rupee. Again, the only problem I have with these chamber dungeons is that we have to open every single chest. Otherwise we won't find what we need. I really appreciated the treasure vault mission. All right, so we need to take this stairwell and go up there, get the remaining four chests, and then we're good to go. Put that back on. And go up here, let's grab everything. Kaboom. Yes. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually having a good time. I'm kind of hoping that Dampe doesn't give us another mission after this, because I really don't want to do another hour-long episode. Then again, we're only, like... 33 and a half minutes in, but it's still kind of, uh... I wonder what he's going to give us as a reward, anyway. Because I feel like we got five chamber stones. Apparently there's like 14 in the game. Another red rupee. I imagine that's... Yeah, that's all. that should be all the money. And there we go. So now that we have the Nightmare Key, we can go ahead and warp back to the beginning of the dungeon. Then we can go take down the boss. Hand is cramping a little bit from the fishing in the previous episode. I do these, like, really close together, and I don't really put too much rest... <laughs> in between, which I should probably fix. Okay, we're good. Hey, we did a three heart challenge. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's see if Dampe gives us another challenge or not. Another chamber stone. Oh, wait, another chamber. Okay. And, hey, a fairy bottle. Cool. All right, so we're good. And I'm going to end off the episode, I guess. Sorry if I bumped my mic there, but... Yeah, that'll do it. And then next episode, we're going to go explore with this guy. See what's up on Mount Tamaranch, I think. And then we're going to continue from there. So 
please consider leaving a like and a comment if you got anything you want to direct me towards for the comments specifically. The like helps get the video noticed and uh, can uh, indirectly or directly grow my channel as well. If you really want to directly grow my channel or help with that at the very least, consider subscribing because you'll be able to stay tuned for what I have upcoming. And um, yeah, it'll just it'll grow my channel and it'll help me more than a lot of people seem to know and more than I know, honestly. <laughs> But anyway, that's all I got for this episode, and in the next one, like I said, we'll go up to Mount Tamar Ranch for stuff and things. Anyway, that's all I got, and bye bye